The study on erythropoietin stimulating agents in lower risk MDS actually started uh, when we started the EU MDS observational study in 2008 and we have been following patients for up to five years and um, we have uh, now been able to gather so many patients that we can see that uh, the ESA uh, has an impact uh, meaning that they the patients that get the ESA before a transfusion need occurs have a longer uh, time to um, have a longer overall survival. Um, and the difference is 44 months with ESA versus 34 months without ESA. And that is uh, rather significant that we have been able to prove that. Uh, we have also uh, <clears throat> done uh, quality of life assessments uh, where, where the patients have uh, uh, done self-assessments of quality of life every six months and there we can see that the patients that never need neither ESA nor transfusions are those who fare best which is not surprising and they fare significantly better than the patients that get transfusions, whether they get ESA or not. So um, we have to work more on how we uh, transfuse patients, actually, because that can help for the moment, but in the long run, that is not a good treatment.